and the 2023 off-season elections in Bielsa, Imo, and Kogi states will test the Independent National Electoral Commission INEX learning from mistakes from the 2023 general elections. The Abuja School of Social and Political Thoughts and Center for Public Policy and Research, Professor Sam Amadi, argued that these elections are a litmus test for INEC, whose recent outings received condemnation from local and international observers. We know that there are going to be FCC elections in Kogi, Bias, and Imo State. And so this dialogue is to analyze what has happened since the election, what's come up in the tribunal, and what needs to be done to ensure that those elections first are free and fair, two, do not compound the security challenges that these states are facing at the moment. Mm -hmm. Our worry is that there's a growing link between fair elections and insecurity in this country. Mm -hmm. And um, INEC shows clear in Imo what happened. This crisis is largely facilitated and compounded mm -hmm. by the way the government came to power. The instability in African countries today is attributed to the failure of the democratic process, which was manipulated and favored certain political parties, leading to civil disobedience and anarchy. A few days ago, some, uh, some of the parties protested against the sovereign wreck mm. because she has been alleged a lot of alleged against her, how they are working together with the state government to train to win the election. And we say, look, it's a national security challenge. Mm. If there are such credible evidence, the donors of should be removed and that the NSA should be more concerned about how INEC managed election because of the direct input that fair elections build back into security. So in the state that is now epicenter, southeast, there should be more drastic action to ensure that INEC performs in Nimo, to ensure the security, especially the Commission of Police who has had bad, 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 you know, allegations, something incredible. I mean, it's some guy who was involved in the Adamawa. So why should that person continue? What the organization is trying to do is to simulate thoughts you know, for the growth of our system, for the deepening of our democracy. And by looking at the immediate elections coming up, the obstacle elections in Odo, Ondo, um, is it, is it, is it bias, uh, in three states, as the case could be. Um, and that's what we're just trying to do, to find solutions to the intractable problems that have been bedeviled the electionary process, realizing that election is key to the consolidation of democracy uh, because it's, it's, a, it's a transition event um, for leadership. And um, if, that, if that process is not right in terms of quality, content, credibility, and integrity, um, it will continue to be a problem. A been for our development and of course the deepening of our democracy which we're which we're in quest for hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates